Okay, somebody sent me a question on YouTube and asked about how I made my solar wax melter. And uh, so I just wanted to make a quick video, uh, give some highlights on how this is made. It, it probably cost me less than $20. So I went out and I found a square cooler made out of styrofoam. The best one I've ever seen is where somebody had a friend that worked at one of those organ donation type places and it was really really thick and had great you know uh, thermal capabilities to keep things you know keep the temperature in but I just basically went out and bought this one at the local grocery store for I don't know how maybe 13 bucks or 10 bucks or 8 bucks I don't remember it was cheap the thing that's key is because you put a piece of glass in here on the top and I don't know if you can kind of see this this border along here and up this way what you need to do is you need to find a lid that has a thickness so that you can cut a space and still have enough space where you can lay the uh, the piece of glass on the top so when I found this there was actually just a little bit of an indentation over this space right here and so what I did was is I made, you know, I don't know, about three quarters of an inch cut. So I, I cut my piece of glass, I outlined it on here, and then I moved everything at a quarter of an inch, and three quarters of an inch, and then I cut it. So basically my glass has a lip to rest on on the top of the lid. So I um, hope that makes sense. And so what I did is then I took my piece of, of glass and I took clear um, caulk and I caulked all the edges and then basically just squished it down and wiped up the excess and it makes a good seal to keep all the heat in. The one mistake I made is as I was looking at what was available at the hardware store and they had pieces of glass that were you know in this range of size and they also had pieces of plastic and I thought the plastic would work a little better but in the end I wish I, if I had to do it all over again I would have used glass because I think it just is clearer, it is easier to clean and I think it probably has better thermal capabilities. So then the next step that I did is I took the um, the white um, cooler and I just painted the inside black. Now somebody told me make sure you don't use spray paint. There's some property between styrofoam and spray paint that won't work and I actually just used the extra pieces of, of plastic at the bottom just to kind of give a buffer between what might be in there and 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 the the paint. So the next thing I bought was I bought a glass baking pan. Uh, I think it it was at Walmart cost, I don't know, a buck seventy five. And then the last thing I built was I just went in and I got some trim and I don't know if you can see it on this video but I just basically offset the two pieces of trim so that I could put them together. I, actually, I used my uh, staple gun to, to use staples so it actually these things stick up a little bit. Now one of the things I was thinking was and I, and I, and I put screen in between the two pieces of trim. One of the things I was thinking is is if uh, I could take my paper towel and kind of puncture it on these little nails sticking through and it would give it just a little bit of uh, flexibility where I could maybe pull it tighter. I'm not sure I would do that again um, but it's not a big deal that those are sticking out and I just made it basically in the size of the pan so it rests right on the top of this and you put the wax on. Again if I did this again I might try to find a 9x9 pan because a 9x9 pan will fit in here and it just gives you a little bit more surface space but this works pretty good for little pieces of uh, a little group of wax and uh, and that's about it so less than twenty dollars uh, prep time was not very long and uh, you got yourself a small wax melter let me know if you have any questions uh, one last thing I did want to add on the lid is as I mentioned I found I found a styrofoam lid that had a little uh, piece that kind of was higher than the other and I made my my glass piece fit within that little indentation but you don't necessarily have to find that basically what you can do is is you if it was all smooth and it was one piece and this is the one I saw where the guy had used it from a a donation from an organ 
transplant places. It was all smooth on the top, and all he did was is he measured it. He took his piece of glass, measured it, then measured three quarters in, and he actually cut a lip into it, then rested it down a little sunken into the lid that was smooth. But in my case, when I was out looking, I found this piece where it already had the indentation, and so I just cut my glass to fit that and lay right inside of it. But you could you could do it with something that was smooth on the top. Just wanted to kind of point that out.